G'day, I'm Stuart Totem and this is my favourite NTFL memory. I've got so many, uh, I think, beautiful memories from back in the day with NTFL. And I guess they, um, they relate back to you know, the early 80s when Wanderers, um, Wanderers were a pretty poor team and then they came good. And all of a sudden we were you know, up and about. And I recall you know, back in the day at Gardens Oval, um, uh, sitting around the Oval with my dad and his friends, they put the old fold out chairs down in front of the old scoreboard, in front of the bar of course. Um, and we watched the footy, kicked the footy at half time. And uh, the, the one, the game that sort of stands out for me is the, the uh, Wanderers North Down Grand Final of, I think it was 80 81. And I think Wanderers were 10 goals down, three quarter time, lost by a goal. And then went on to win the next two premierships. So just outstanding. And, and for a little, for a kid, I was I think 10 or 11 at the time. Looking up to those players that played through that that era, and my, and my first um, A grade game was against St Mary's Gardens Oval. So, arch rivals, I think it was 1986, 87, I think. Um, and I lined up on Ted Liddy, and Ted, he was one of my favourite players at St Mary's. I used to love him and uh, Bruno Long, um, the way they went about their footy. They were both just superb footballers in their own right. I, I um, lined up next to Ted, and, I, and it was right in front of. Where, where Dad and his mates were having their beers, and I thought, gee, this is not good. Why have I got this bloke? But anyway, I did okay. I got I kicked three, and I think I was all right. But that was a thrill to be playing, you know, on the same over with some of those those uh, legend players as well. I'm, I'm very fortunate to have this job now. I, I uh, sort of have really been enjoying it, and hopefully I'll continue to do so. But I remember seeing uh, back in the day down at Gardens. You know, Michael Barfoot, uh, Mike Crawshaw, Peter Atkinson. I remember thinking, oh, I'd love to do that stuff. How cool could that be? You know, to work in in sport. I had no real concept of what they actually did. That's the reality. But that thought of working in sport stayed with me, and so that's how that that seed was sown. Was back at Gardens Oval in the mid '80s, seeing those guys operate. So um, that was a bit of an inspiration, I guess. So yeah, here I am now. The games changed a little bit. We're a little bit bigger than we were back then, but. Um, I guess the essence of it is still the same. It's community footy. People are passionate. Um, and, um, you know, back in the day they were passionate. If they didn't like things, well, people soon knew about it, and I think probably not much has changed. <laughs>